Charger Award is going to be given to Jeff Hammond, and it's going to be presented by Waddell Wilson. Uh, the Red Vote Award is um, going to be given to Robert Yates in the morning, uh, presented by Ernie Irvin and the Red's daughter, June Wentz. Uh, the Smoky Unic Award is going to be given to Pete Taylor, who was a pioneer, designer, inventor, and garage owner. It's going to be given to him by Don Miller, who is Roger Penske's partner in Penske South. The Bobby Allison Award is going to be given to Ernie Irvin and presented by Bobby himself. That's kind of nice. And the Women in Racing Award is going to be awarded to Zeta Baker, who came up with the idea for all this Tom Fullery we were involved in. Uh, and it's going to be presented by Rodney Blastic of the North Turn. And this is one of my favorites. The Taylor Francis Flock Award is going to be given to Deke Whitenhouse. There were two Whitenhouse boys, Deke and Slab, right? And Deke could have been an absolute superstar. But he got married. He got hurt a little bit. Not bad. He couldn't stand the sight of his own blood. Every time he saw his blood, he'd pass out. A great picture of him hanging out of the car in Darlington. He wasn't hurt, he just saw his own blood. But he decided that he was going to give it up and uh, he was going to raise his family. So it's going to be awarded by, uh, presented by Bill Blair and Joy Flock, Tim's daughter. But if, if Dick had kept winning, kept running, he would have been an absolute superstar because he was beating all the big boys when he was still in high school. He was that good. Uh, Pioneer Race Award, our own Robert Hart from New Smyrna Speedway. Oh, presented, yeah, yeah, presented by Roland Villa. And this is one here. I don't know how this one slipped through the cracks, but we have the Back to the Roots Award. It's going to be given to Hank Goodwin. The Promoter Award is going to be given to Jim France. And Jim will be there to accept wow. the award. Uh, how about that? Wonderful. And it's going to be presented by Tiger Tom Pistone and Ed Clark, the president of Atlanta Raceway. Uh, the Motorcycle 200 Award is going to the Hollingsworth family. Uh, now, they're out of St. Augustine, I believe. Long time supporters. And uh, going to be presented by our own Doc Batsalier. And last but not least, the, the Tim Sullivan Award is going to be given to. Oh, no! Oh, <laughs> no! folks know what they're doing. And I don't think one dollar was ever passed between any of these people. <laughs> I think it all came from the heart, don't you? But you know what it's like to win one of those awards, right? Yes, I do. Yes, I'm just so proud. It's a heck of a big deal. Yeah, that was such an honor and uh, such a surprise. And to have it right there in Bill Francis' old gas station yeah, yeah. really makes it special. Yeah, and uh, so it's so neat that we thank you all for supporting what we do here. <laughs> to support the North Turn, it, it just keeps the racing alive. And I'm a little concerned about the next generation coming up. You know, they, 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 I don't think most of them have quite gotten it yet, so we have to be able to uh, to get them hooked. You know, feel like a pusher. No, we got to get them hooked on racing, but it's the coolest thing I'll ever be involved in. If everybody was a race fan, there would be no wars in the world, right? That's right. right. There would be no crime. Right. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> Except for Kyle Bush fans, that might be a different story. <laughs> we'll have to see what happens. But uh, anyway, now here's another thing. Uh, to, to put her life in perspective, today is her 91st birthday, right? Okay. Sunday, Monday, is Mickey Mouse's 91st birthday. So you're three days older than Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Yes, you did. Yeah, I'm the best of them, for yeah. sure. Anything you change in your racing career? Any what? Anything you would change? Oh, I don't think so. I thought everything, growing up and having a family and being involved in racing was my whole life, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're still here to talk about it, too. Yeah. That's awful nice. <laughs> well, how about right. that? What uh, a nice surprise. Yeah. Well, we, we thought we needed to get you up here. Sneaky and, kids. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> also, we, uh, we're we wondering, um, after that first race at Dover, did you ask yourself, what have I gotten myself into? Well, after that first race, I think I was hooked. Hooked? Yeah. On him or on racing? Oh, both. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah. And your dad was a little concerned about your 
parents, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I thought it was terrible that uh, I came home looking like that. Mm -hmm. What did she do? I don't even remember. Yeah. But it probably wasn't very nice. Yeah, because <laughs> you, know, you were still a demure, sweet young lady. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. She'd be going out there getting dirty with some stranger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's been a heck of a life for you. Sure yeah. has. Yeah, you know, I've been very fortunate. And I'm so, I'm so lucky having you and the girls and the spouses, Glenn and uh, Dave, you know, I'm really, really blessed. No, we're the ones that are blessed, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah. Plus, uh, what's nice too is uh, a lot of times we'll go out for ice cream and she'll pay, so excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> Absolutely. But there's some folks that we have to say thank you to, mostly everyone out there, everyone watching. We appreciate it. We thank uh, Bert and Bridget for being here today and sharing their expertise.